<laughs> yes, right, in the coom, uh, with William Hill, we're in Charing Cross at McFabs, what a gaff. Um, anyway, Frank's not here today, Derek's here, and we've got the hottest podcast in the world right now. Yes, sir, for Paul McStay, but nah, we'll oh, get the match. He's a better, much better, better, he's a much better, much better, much better than Paul McStay, aren't I? Aye, I don't know about looks wise, but. Well, uh, I'm trying my best. Yeah. I, mean, I went for me sunbed last night to impress you, but. Yeah, yes. How many minutes? Went for 10 minutes. You've got to be careful. Ah. <laughs> You've got to be very careful, Derek. Have you wore that t shirt because he's, <laughs> we've got a ginger on today? <laughs> Stop it, Bond, Derek. <laughs> But can I just say something? Yes, yeah, you can say what I must say. It's great. It's, a, it's a, a magnificent to have a wee break away from the Kyler, a big Kevin Kyler. Oh, the I've big never, bouncer. The big bouncer, or the big bison, as I like to the call him. <laughs> but I must say, Derek, I, I must say, I've never seen, I, I don't know if you know two other uh, people in the rest of you. I mean, have you ever seen somebody carry somebody for so long? I'm sick of <laughs> my back's agony for carrying him. Uh, it's only so I believe, uh, I believe, and we're going to get into it, that Kev Kyle is in the same bracket as Levine. And Hecklebottle, <laughs> he's one podcast away from being out the door. I believe. No, do you know what? He's one thing away from it. One mere bean stain uh, on his t-shirt. He's on. Uh, Put that on, mate. Not on, sir. Uh, well, you've held um, joint today. You get a uh, bet ten pound. You get a free thirty pound bet. Fancy it? Okay, always. <laughs> by the way, we should tell before you Mike came. Mike going to have you, by the way. Not a problem. I'll sort him out. Did you take him out? I think you should be a celebrity boxing. You and a big fella. I Look, that's what you think. You could be my trainer. Aye, but it's, listen, it's great to have Craig Beats here today. <laughs> 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 he was just telling yeah. us before hey, that You've come up now, well, you must be earning a few, Bob. Can't hide money. Oh, you're, you're making him a fortune, aren't you? Fortune. Uh-huh. Unbelievable. Well, after, he was telling us before you came friends, on that you, you were the, the son that you wish Lewis was, wasn't it? You were saying that she was more, more like Slaney. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Madman. Right, we need to go into the serious stuff. Ah. Uh, former Rangers captain Farrell Rickson sadly passed away yesterday. Six year battle with motor neuron. So uh, sad, it's, so it's, sad. It's, it's, of course, you know, and uh, I got to know Fernando, uh, unfortunately, when I had the illness, doing a lot of kind of fundraising stuff, well, playing in the, the games. Uh, everybody talks about uh, him being a battler, and by God, what a battler he yeah, was in the, the fight. Yeah. He was, but that shouldn't detract from how good a football player he was. He was a tremendous football player, but the one thing, and I, I, since you know, we heard these passing. I kind of get them out my my mind, my head. And yeah. but the one thing when I was in his company, one thing that sticks out for me was he always had a that wee kind of sparkle in his eye uh, when I went to meet him and get in touch with him. I would have loved to have been in his company as a as a player. You know, in that dressing room and for a few nights out mm-hmm. because I can tell what kind of you can get the gist of what kind of character he was. Uh, he was a fun guy, loved li- li- this man here, loved life, yeah. you know, and he took it, took it away at 43. It's absolutely it's criminal, man. Yeah. So we're all gutted, but the Rangers family, they'll get together. That'll be pretty emotional over the weekend. Uh, not just for uh, all the Rangers fans, I mean, we talk about the Dutch boys as well. I mean, they've always got a, a special place in my heart, but I think Fernando, uh, for his all, I mean, he's he was just a a level above the rest of them yeah. because we, we loved them and uh, we loved everything about them and just, uh, yeah, but it's sad. Thoughts with the family? I mean, Absolutely. Fair, can go. Uh, right, Slaney, Edinburgh Derby this week. Now, your wee woman and Budge brought out uh, a statement yesterday which, I don't know what to make it. What was your thoughts? Saying that Craig Levine's done a good job, his staff have done a good job, we're going to stand by him. I don't think, listen, I don't like to criticise people as you know, Si. I, I, I certainly believe this game here with Craig Levine and the mouse, I believe whoever gets beat, <laughs> I believe the mouse. Ever, the I, the he calls Paul Hickey the, 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 the mouse. He's very quiet. He's very, very quiet and timid. And we don't need men like that in the game, Derek. Right. But I believe they too. <laughs> they too. Whoever loses, whoever loses the game, must walk away from the club. And I don't understand this, Derek, where they're saying if Levine goes, he's still going to work in the background side. That can't that happen. Can't happen. I don't like nah. that. I don't know if you've been in a situation where it's happened to you before. I want to ask you, Phil, so has he done a good job? Eh. <laughs> Second time around? No. no. They've struggled. I think it's been well documented. And it's not just this season. If you look at the form going back to last year, it ain't been good. So I actually thought after the result last weekend, uh, and I know Craig, if he'd been a teammate with him, I thought he would have took the, the option, you know, he can, uh, to walk out the door uh, and let somebody else come in and be a new face, a new voice in that dressing room. Something needs to change. And uh, he's got that relationship with Ann Budge that everybody talks about. But sometimes if you sit back and you take stock of things, I think for the, the well-being of Hearts Football Club, I thought 
you know, it might be the best for him to walk out. But he believes in himself. He believes he can yeah. get a result Derek, this weekend. He is a type but, of probably could do but it sometimes, around, aye. But sometimes you need to, you need to have close people close to you that uh, that you will listen to. And uh, I'm surprised he's still there. I don't think he'll get the sack, but I th sometimes think for for the well-being. And he loves Hearts Football Club. Let's not make no bonds about it. He lives and breathes that club. Sometimes you, you you maybe don't see the bigger picture. And I think for Craig, it might be to let a, a somebody else. What come about in. that comment until six points off fourth by all bottom of the league? What did you make of it? Nah, it's, I mean, he always tries to put up a positive <laughs> spin. There's no positive spin at the minute. Hearts, I've been there, I've played there for three years. Hearts, Hearts is a, a huge club, a big club. Fans are not Comes with them. expectation and pressure. Hearts want to be up there challenging. Uh, for third and yeah. fourth, I mean, Rangers Celtic, you know, you're not going to challenge them, we know that, but certainly for third, and what has uh, been on show already this season, basically not good enough, but it's not just a uh, the, 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 the points that they've got on board, only two, it's the performances, yeah. the performances have been poor, uh, they demand a better style of football, and they've certainly struggled as well. So, see, yes. on that, Derek, what, see, when I was growing up, right, uh, uh, Went to sell again. I used to hate when we got to Tyne Castle or Easter Road. See, but where has that went? See the last five, six years? It's still there, Slaney. But it's what, still what, there. It's still an intimidating place. What is the problem? I, 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 and what is the, the problem? problem the, the, Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. is it the managers? For the last five years, there's no... The place is there, but... It's not a, a hard game. It's such an MSI. And when I was growing up, I mean, I, I used oh. to always believe Derek would say, like, we're never going to get a result at Tyne Castle. Mm -hmm. and the way, I don't know what's changed there. Uh, well, when I was there, you know, we when we made sure that when teams came, you know, whether it was even the Rangers or Celtic, we made it so uncomfortable for them. And what we mean by that is we were physical. We got in their faces. We worked our socks off. And I don't know. You just see they've kind of they're huge clubs at both of them. Uh, yeah. They need but to try get back. They need to try get back to that Derek where. The it's still an intimidating place. You can place, be as physical as you want, but we can't pass the ball to each other then. I know, when they've got the big boy we talk about, Pays, and sometimes you get into that where you're playing, they just look for that long ball. Yeah. Yeah, uh, boy Washington's out, and that's a big kid. When Washington, Washington come into the side, good you know, the, the aye, yeah. but then he's out for three months, it looks mm -hmm. like a serious hamstring injury he's got, so there is problems. But sometimes players need a lift, they need a change of I face. Believe right, there's one thing change. this derby needs on the weekend, it's a strong referee. I believe it needs a strong referee, and, I, I, and <laughs> certainly... <laughs> I certainly will be well, putting myself ahead for it because I am absolutely <laughs> fucking sick to death of these referees. I'll tell you that right now. And if you believe I'm here for a joke, hey, I'll put this up. Tell you believe I'm here for a joke, I'm here for the long haul. Do you know what I mean? I'm here, Sai. Oh, my, oh, my oh, oh, my easy, Tiger. Did you get that? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, you need a strong referee <laughs> and a no producer. There's your kids. There's your kids. There you go, Luke. So, listen, as I no, said it's before, all this is all, 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 all planned. <laughs> I don't come up with it. So, I phoned Derek last night and he said, who oh, goes the referee? We need strong referees in here. And the reason I'm wearing Hugh Dallas is because I'm trying to make wee Wally call him jealous. Uh, si, he's giving me nothing back at the moment and I believe oh, Hugh Dallas <laughs> is much... Uh, a stronger human uh, and referee than we were. I'm Did you play with Wally? I'm going to get that in. You, as I was going to say, I heard that Wally's got a bigger it's muscle than you. And he certainly has been a link to that. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. Yeah, man, right. man. Oh, yeah, so I, here's I what I want to know. Beautiful. Right. Here's, what, here's what I want to know. If it's a draw. You're beautiful. If it's a draw, well, what happens? Both keep their job? No, I still think it's got to be a win for Craig Levine. Because it's, it's I, I think Craig should take matters into his own hands and, and for the, the better Hearts Football Club, it might be better that he get a new face in. That's my opinion. OK. And if, if Hibs lose, do you think Hickenbottom should go? I don't know. I watched them against Kilmarnock last weekend and for a, an hour, uh, I thought they were pretty good, to right. be honest with you. They played some decent stuff. Uh, he obviously says about them being a, a, having a, a soft centre. Uh, but I think they answered that for that hour, but they kind of... They, they lost their way in the last... Half hour, obviously, when they, they get their noses in front. But no, I don't think Heckenbottom will go. What is it you call him? The Bee Mouse. The Bee Mouse, <laughs> I think. <laughs> he's, he's, I think he's quite hard, mate. I think you've got him wrong, eh? Has he? I think he's quite hard. I don't listen. I, 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 as I say before, I, I do a research on a lot of stuff. I'm interested in yes, it. Certainly with Heckenbottom, I'm not interested. So if he comes into the mice category, then we'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Slurry, so word on your old team, Motherwell. Absolutely flying. Leave that away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I used to do before the shower all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, uh, third on the table, would you go back? 
Um, they asked me to go back to do a wee bit with them. Um, certainly no interested in that club any longer. Um, but no, listen, they say, I, I believe Motherwell are doing it. I actually said at the start of the season, I thought they were really going to struggle. Derek, when the boy Turnbull was obviously injured, mm. hasty left. I thought they were really going to struggle, but I watched them v Hearts um, and they were great. I think you said that you seen them pre-season or, or then. And I was. The width, the wingers and the goal for players. Hilton, Sido, they recruited really well again. Yeah. So they have to see for me, right? See the way Motherwell play, that's the way Hearts should play. I know. Hard to beat and then they're quick. I actually think though, the actually I think and I'm just saying this, I think Hearts have got a good team. I think they've got good players, players when they look at the squad. Um, so sometimes you need to be putting in a, a, a different direction, you need yeah. a new a new voice in there. Would you I am yeah. not just saying about hearts, but would you get back into coaching? I always say to say You I, ask well, his question every time you know. Well, well the thing is actually you're amazing, I, I really do, well, I believe you're amazing. Because everybody thinks Mark is in Dubai, he's not. Oh, he's in, he's in talks with who do you think he's in talks with? There's a couple of managers lost wow. their jobs this week. Oh, so that's, that's no dad, is it? No, Sten Hushmuir. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he said to me, I was with him on Saturday night, so he would say he would take me as an assistant. Did you sign him? This man, oh, aye. Is I, a bit of a I, but I could, see for the short period of time that I was in management, I get uh, wee Jose Kato, uh, wee Jose Katongo yeah. on board a few times. Not just because cause his attitude ah, was brilliant, really brilliant, but he was great about the dressing room as well. But a terrific player, I, and, and I, so I of course he would be on there. He would be in this, certainly in the staff in the back room. Uh, right, Slade, I want to ask you. Uh, we mentioned Stephen uh, Motherwell. Sorry, Stephen Robinson, their manager, did really well. If Levine was to go, he's been tipped. Would he be a good manager, perhaps? He's done well with Motherwell, Wee Stevie. Um, Wee Stevie. But... <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the Hearts job, I, I don't know. No, I think he should stay with Motherwell. Um, and I would look to, as I said, I, I don't hope people are on the job. I'd like to see Stevie Freel get the Hearts job. I think he's... he's Stephen Freel? Stevie Freel. Freel. I think right. I've worked with Stevie and he'd be superb. And I, I, I would what like was he good at? I, just <laughs> the way he went about the place, si, and he was very, very hands-on. I, I remember if I was... Like, and tight, and you've got to be like that, and you've got to be hands on. This country now, Derek, you've is obviously got a special relationship uh, with this man. Absolutely, you can see that, <laughs> absolutely, Derek. I'm looking right into your eyes. You can see that. Speak to him, speak to him uh, in a regular occurrence. And he actually, he, he was actually asking me, could he get a wee spot and open goal? And I said, no, thanks, Stevie. <laughs> so we move on. But uh, no, listen, uh, on the, uh. the hearts job. Um, I think Stevie Robinson would be certainly a, a good candidate. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think you might say no to a good candidate until you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but That's why you're on. But I don't know if, uh, regarding, I heard somebody flying about with Gary Locke and uh, Kevin Kelwell. If they want to go down to League One, then go ahead and get into it. <laughs> uh, right, Derek, you were at the game, as you said. Uh, come on, Pete Hibbs. Mm-hmm. Is Alessio starting to get them playing there? I, I thought they struggled for a, right. uh, the first hour. And well, was it, I think it was about 56, 57 to get the goal. Maybe in the start up, of the season up, up until the Blues games like that. So. Aye, but I, I've not saw a huge improvement, I'm, I'll no. be honest with that. Uh, but, you know, like, you can't argue. They've, got, they've won, that's two in the bounce. You know, so something's changing. Maybe the attitude has changed slightly. you get somewhere to go on there. No, I'm just checking my watch time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding on time at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, listen, the, the, I wouldn't say the performance has improved, but certainly the results, and that's uh, uh, that's quite obvious. But I, I expected a wee bit better for them, right. and that's why I was pretty su- no surprise. I was pretty impressed with the way uh, Hibs went about their business. But you know, it's about winning games. I thought by the end of the day. Correct. So <laughs> can Kelly get in for Celtic Park? No, uh, I don't think so. Uh, but we, we, we slaughtered the boy Alessio um, at the start. He's certainly done all right. He's came in and started doing no bad. I don't think they'll get it and I got to be a 3 0 to Celtic side. Oh, I do, I do I think so. I think so. The only bit is obviously Celtic's away from home tonight, but I think I mean, Griffiths hasn't even travelled, so he could come in at the weekend. I don't think they've got a, a hope and hell to get a. There's inside information. Oh, well, that's easy to bet. He's bet to other. I'm close with him on now. Um, yeah. Came to tonight, I'm going to go down and stay with him now. That's what he did. You know, Emery actually wants to meet him. I thought he would have took you down. Disappointing. Yeah, are you? Because I heard he's took one of his other mates in them. Uh, disappointing to see the least. We bust up last night, me and uh, KT, I can call him that now. We had a wee bust up last night because of that. I said, why am I not doing? Um, but certainly we'll, we'll talk about the coupe machine. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, he does want to meet you, didn't he? KT actually said, Una Emery loves the show, eh? Uh-huh. He loves the show. He supports the can, he stand the coupe machine, and I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 uh, right, Derek Rangers, Kent off injured. You surprised he started, started the game? No, no. because no, you, you spend seven million uh, in a player. I was going to say a new player, but it doesn't feel like a new player coming in. But he's obviously going to play for a while now. Ah, he's got to be in your starting lineup. Right, okay. but it's, so it's a, and I don't think it was even taking a chance. It's just unfortunate. 
you know. So hopefully it's no too bad a, an injury. Hopefully he's back two or three weeks. But uh, nah, you start with your strongest team. Uh, Rangers have no room uh, taking a uh, let's, let's ship points. We looked at the Celtic game. Why did they not start their strongest team? Morelos, you know, Jones, we could talk about Ojo. Yeah, so so Rangers can't slip up anymore. They've got, to, they've got to be on the front foot. They've got to be winning games because Celtic are already three points uh, ahead. The, the pressure's on. Do you need to win games of football? So uh, I wasn't surprised it started. Just unfortunate he's got that injury. Uh, and Slaney, again, referee, wee Willie, chopped your, your mate's goal off. Do you yeah. hear about this? No. Right. Yeah, yeah. I boy Nicky Devlin, who I'm very, very close with. Um, Closer than Katie? No, listen, I, I've known Nicky much longer. Nicky was more famous than If he was more famous, then I would hang about with Nicky. <laughs> I don't hang about with people if they're famous. But, I don't like any of It's actually no word of lie here. Since I've joined Open Goal, see all the pals I had for growing up. Don't speak Are you to any them? them. Don't like <laughs> them at all. Come on, then it'd actually be a role. You've got, to be it. ruthless. You've got to be ruthless in this business. And uh, being a nice guy gets you absolutely nowhere. And that's why Paul Heckenbaum will be out of job very soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, did Rangers play well against Livingston Derek? Were you impressed with the performance or uh, I've just saw the highlights. Right. Uh, but going a goal behind at Ibrox, I wouldn't say that's good enough. So they had their work cut out and you got to remember they went down to 10 men. Big Dykes get sent off and uh, they scored the third when they were uh, when Livy were down to 10 men. So I think their, their confidence has been dented slightly with that result against Celtic, Celtic yeah. so, uh, but they've got to knuckle down because there's, as I say, no room for any slip-ups, performances have got to be better for now, and, for now until the next old firm game, uh, unfortunately. Right, we don't like to see it but Slurry does, so Gary Caldwell sacked with Park Thistle yesterday. Right, decision? Bad start to the season, um, I think so, I think he's came in and it's this, but he, he's... I was speaking to a few Thistle fans and they were saying... Wait, wait, wait. Where were you speaking to Patrick Thistle fans? Well, it's near time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that is. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> you try to, to set them in. <coughs> you try to set them in. But uh, <laughs> it's supposedly his type of, his, his style of play, Gary Caldwell, is, is the right... Oh, we call it the right way. Is Derek just said it's about winning football matches. Yeah. And wait, after you start winning, then you can start mm. thinking, do we want to play the right way? It's about, as I keep going on about this word and it begins with a P, um, principles Derek, you must get the principles right, come in and defend, go and attack, do you know what I mean? So, I must have him Derek, and if Gary Caldwell's not doing that, Gary Caldwell's... Showing that again, Gary, that was Gary, impressive, they're just, just, just like that, So Gary Caldwell, magician though. That's it there, Gary Caldwell's got that stuck there, Disney want to come in, and for a guy who plays centre back, I can't uh, deserve it, so... Gary Caldwell deserves to go, um, and certainly we will move on for that. But I, I, I do believe it's got to be this. I, I keep on hearing that you play the right way. I mean, Martin O'Neill, when he was at Celtic, it was mere direct football, but it was mm. brilliant attacking football. Uh, um, I've seen Rangers go to uh, uh, Ibrox v Barcelona, 0 0 v the Champions League, Messi and Ronaldinho. They, play, they sat in the, the, the bus, but that's it's near right or wrong way. You adapt to the team you're playing against, Derek. There's no this way. You sound like a coach. I'm super. Oh, but what I'm going to say is, uh, you're not going to. You're not going to. Um, if, if I'm if somebody that loves playing for the back, right, and then you're playing a team, Brendan Rodgers, people say he's great. No, you weren't. Because when you go to <laughs> Europe, you get found out. Simple as that. You adapt to the team you're playing against. You find a way to beat them. And I see, I, that's the top managers do it. And once again, Guardiola tried to pass it to Norwich. What happened? Rang style of play, Si. Do you know what I'm saying? So you're playing Guardiola? No, Guardiola, but I'm just saying about Gary Caldwell. He's come in here and he's thinking, oh, we'll play the right play. He kind of did that in Scotland mm. all the time. Sometimes I play, if you're up, I always believe the same. The first 15 minutes, you win the battle, you win it, you win it, and then you go and play side. And Gary Caldwell wasn't interested in the battle, so that's exactly... the battle last longer than 50 minutes? You keep battling away. Right. Very passionate. That's we what we're school, We've got old school in but there you know, as well. Uh, uh, like, I know he mixes the old and the The only thing is, I, I, I know I always mess about, but I, I, I do believe that I'm sick of hearing this about... We need to play the right way and pass out and pass... Aye, that's brilliant if it's on. But what is wrong with... See he, these bits up here? The channels? What's time you bought the channels? Shows with the cups. The channels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek, uh, do you agree? Right decision. Well, I just ask him. Can't follow that, can oh, you? he's. Uh, uh, listen, I don't like to see anybody uh, lose their job. Uh, it's a results-driven business, isn't it? That's what, you, that's you what you're that's touching on. on I watched them <coughs> a couple of times already this season. They did play some nice football. When I watched them last season, it was too slow, the build-up. And I think the championship at times, I think Slaney's touching on it. Sometimes you've got to get the ball forward into the final third. That's where you cause the damage. So, But what they've got is they've got a ready-made manager, in my uh, opinion, already there, uh, Muller. 
Kenny Miller, yeah, yeah. Player manager. Get the job. Player manager. And do you know something? Uh, and Big Jerry, I know Be- uh, Big Jerry's the chief executive. I worked with Jerry uh, for a short period of time. It's general. I thought Jerry would have been on to be a top Jerry manager. Brown. Aye, took a different course, obviously. But see him involved uh, with the training. There's a lot of course he took with it. Aye, he's clever. Mm-hmm. Clever cookie, but also a bit mad like this man. Right. Uh, he's got a bit of that madness, which I think you need. Uh, the two I them, I see them, I, I don't think they need to, I don't think they need to be going to... Lost and getting compared to Milner. Jerry Britton. Jerry Britton, by the way. Hey, don't you understand? Like that's Jerry's my great. big mucker, my, my big really pal. I know Jerry really well, really close. Aye, and, uh, great lad, so he is. Uh, but do you know something? I don't think there's any rush because with the day two at the helm, they can take their time. There is a few candidates out there. Uh, Obviously, Talk so. McCall and Danny Lennon next ah, Oh well, for me, McCall's a no-brainer. Sisters, right. sisters, sisters, sisters. Eh? See, McCall, I think McCall's top drawer. Uh-huh. I think his, uh, the, the job that he's done doing at Air United is pff, unbelievable. Yeah, so I, I think Ian McCall should be shouldn't be in the championship. That's just my opinion. Should be managing at a, would a higher take, level. Would you take? Would he leave Air United to go to part of this at work? No, right? because I think there's uh, he's got a great relationship with yeah. everybody uh-huh. running there at Air. So I can see his point of view and he's loyal to them. I, I, I get that, but again. The, the ties with Thistle as well. I think he speaks about his son being a Thistle supporter, oh, yeah, but yeah. I think he's got a, a soft spot for Thistle. He'd be a brilliant manager for party uh, to come back here. So. Was always, also taught Craig Brown slightly to get it? I think Craig does. <laughs> 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 no, right, but <laughs> who, would you, who would you like to see get the job, Paul? The Thistle job. The mate, uh, see the Thistle fan you've been speaking to. Who would you yourself like? The Thistle fan uh, was saying about Kenny Miller getting it, and uh, I, I believe that's a great appointment. I, I always remember, remember hearing uh, boy Josh Windass's interview, and he said, "What um, Miller was?" That was an open goal, obviously. Huh? Open goal, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. And uh, he said that Kenny Miller was a big voice in the changing room. He was a leader mm-hmm. in the changing room. He was a winner. That's guys that must get it. I don't know about... I remember he tried the plane manager. I don't like that. I've never liked no. the, the player manager thing. Mm-hmm. You either do no, one tough. or the other. So I believe Kenny Miller is the man for the... The only problem with that is... He's, uh, a bit, he's probably their best player, so you're losing your best player. The only problem with that is I don't know how it is going to fit in the changing room with the boys and then all of a sudden taking yourself out of that section and being their manager. I think it's all right if you leave them and go to another team. I think that's fine, but... I, I would find that hard, certainly, if I was met in the changing room and jokes and all that, and then all of a sudden you had to change your role. I, I don't know if yeah. Derek... Is. Player coach for Kenny Miller. Don't give him the manager, just a player coach. Oh, yeah, okay. It's all about titles and all that. Aye, that's how I say it. I know that, that Jerry will not take it, but uh-huh. if, he would be perfect for, for me. I don't think they need to go looking, but if they are, there's great candidates out there. OK, just finally, Gary Caldy, where does he go for here? Be tougher to get back in there, Of course, it's tough because there's so many good... Coaches and good managers uh, no working at the moment. So once you're uh, off that merry-go-round, it's so hard to get back on. So, but hey, listen, let everybody else we wish him well. Get well, aye, he talks a good game and he says all the right, he says all the right things. But we all know we can see through all that. So leave him at Alton go. <laughs> right, Kim. Right. Let's let it go first. Uh, can, get, can you just go first? Right, I'll go first. He's obviously good. He's a wee prize. Right, Derek, you're going St Myrna versus Hamilton. Right, uh, I'm going, I've watched St Myrna a couple of times. I think they've been unlucky. Lose a last minute goal uh, last week up at County. It was tough on them. But do you know something? And uh, I'm absolutely hopeless. This. I'm going to pump for St Myrna. I would go St Myrna. I, I'm going, I think they might just edge it. And you okay. go, that's it, fire on. That's it, Livingston versus Hamilton. I've got my easel to my left hand side. I'll tell you that. Who have we got next? Livingston versus Aberdeen. If Aberdeen, no playing well at the moment. That's that's quite obvious. Injuries. A lot of injuries, a lot of injuries, but people don't really see they can be documenting. Livy, you know, they're a hard team to beat. It's going to be a real physical game, that. And yeah. uh, if, if Aberdeen don't meet that physicality, uh, they could get found wanting. But I'm going to kind of go against the grain because everything in my mind says that's a draw, it's a score draw. I think Aberdeen, because I've been taking a bit of stick, I think they might just edge it. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Call There's that. a wow for you. You're going, aye. Uh, uh, St Johnston versus Rangers. I think St Johnston played particularly well up at Aberdeen. Unlucky not to come away with three points. But uh, I think Rangers, there's no room for any slip ups. Uh, they've got a big European game. If they come through that unscathed in terms of injuries, I still fancy Rangers because it, it's, it matters and uh, they'll be at it. So, again, it'll be tight because St. Johnson are, are they're playing pretty well. Although yeah. the league table doesn't show that, Rangers. But okay. mate, and finally, Celtic v Kelly. And I'm going to go, I watch Kelly, and uh, they've got a, they've two in the bounds, but going to Celtic Park, that's a different kettle of fish. 
I don't think they'll win against a strong Celtic side. Okay. So Celtic. I hope that's that score you, Robbie. Hey. No, I'd play more than that. I will use my life. I will use my life. What have you got? Listen, when I got the invitation to come here and, and fill, it, fill in for the week, I thought I need to make this my own job. I need to replace Frank. So there's only one <laughs> way to replace Frank. I know. But I need to try my best. That's your hero. You can okay, maybe get three years on. Frank's just a. I've got. I've, I went to the bookies last night <laughs> at ten o'clock and I got you a, a cut meat. Oh, I'm not to bet it. I, no, I, I just, I'll keep that one and you keep that one. That's your man. Say, can, can, well. si, can you read that one out for me? And you yes, that's one for you, Derek. Right. So, Paul Slade as well. Hibs versus Hearts. Paul Hartley that scored in both halves. <laughs> <laughs> 750 to 1. That's a cracker, isn't it? He's single. Aye. Bo- how many times you put that on? Oh, just the, just the, oh, just the one. Yeah, so there you go. He's bet as Paul Hartley to score in both halves. Ah, he's waiting for the draw. With the no, look what I've done. I know. Tell the camera. To score? First goal. And I draw one each. Lewis Ferguson, he scored the you first want, goal. You have to run his tops. I've asked for it's that. It's coming, Brady. Right, it's coming. Right, I'll shake your hands on that. Yeah, you have to. I'll be saying something. You'll get it for next week. Yes, I'll have it for you next week. Can I come on next week again? I can sit in the background. No, we'll, get we'll get you on, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Si. Right, here's your coupon, Slade. You ready for us? That's it. Have you got this up, mate? See, you've got your coupon on. You've got to... Aye, right, okay, this, you know, is, this is important here. Yeah. Motherwell versus Ross County. Motherwell versus Ross County will be Motherwell 2, Ross County 2. <laughs> Do I tell you a bit on it? No, I mean, you can, but I no, no, no. it. No, no. <laughs> you think Ross County will get a drop, Motherwell? I believe they will, Si. Right. I, I think it's going to be one of the... Um, Motherwell are much a better team, but... Maybe a wee card in there or no, it changes the complexion of the match. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah. You've got Livingston <laughs> versus Aberdeen. Livingston versus Aberdeen. Um, I do believe that will be Livingston 1. Mm-hmm. Aberdeen 1, where they lose Ferguson opener. With a head, I believe you'll flick it on, it'll go top corner. You've picked, have you picked every game here? Sorry, six aye, games. every game, aye. Right. Clear point. <laughs> St Mirren versus Halton. St Mirren versus Hamilton, um, I certainly wouldn't want to go and watch it, but certainly <laughs> I'll, be watching it in, I'll be watching it in the scores. I believe St Mirren will be St Mirren 2, Hamilton 1. Oh, it's right. going Not a bad shout. Ah, or 1-0 St Mirren, it'll be a one goal coup. deficit. St Johnston v Rangers? St Johnston v Rangers, I believe uh, it will be 2-0 Rangers. Okay, simple as that. I say it like we kill it. 3-0 Celtic. I think it'll be 2 0 in the first half and they'll get a late goal in the second half. I think it'll be a wee bit uh, in the second half, but they'll go and score it Derek in the in the three 0 Celtic. But we'll kill, kill like it. That. Well that's what I said, it, it's people say to laugh at that. It's much a uh, hanging I wish Gary Colbert could have sent him a video of that and he may be still on his job. Uh, but listen, I believe Celtic will win three 0 Derek. Okay. And finally, Hibs v Hearts, your six team coup. Hibs v Hearts, um I actually in my head, I wanted to say Hibs. I thought Hibs were going to win. I would love to see Craig Levine beat him. Yeah, uh, I think Craig, Craig Levine's Levine. a man, uh, and I believe a man versus a mouse can only be one winner. <laughs> but I certainly believe it will be a draw. I think one each. I think one each, guys. So right. that's what was it now? Fancy a lunch? You're away down the road. I'll take a walk to you. I'll come with you. There's not a problem. We, we go as a double act now. Uh, it certainly is. You're off to Butlins. Can he stay with No, my mum is kicking him out. I don't trust One that. of the best men I've met, I remember uh, meeting Derek for the first time at uh, Clyde, do you remember that one? And, uh, Tell me so. And I, I signed a contract with your brother. Oh, and much for your week. Way back. <laughs> a grand a week at Clyde, <laughs> one of the, the best contracts I've ever had. And uh, so, I've just signed. So anyway, I walked out the office and walked into the wee, bit, the wee room and, uh, where, and I, you were standing with your hood up and the hat on. It was a, a winter's night, but I never recognised it was you because of the hood and hat. So you came up to me and went, oh, well done, uh, congrats on signing all that. And I went, okay, thanks. So as I walked by, <laughs> Uh, the gaffer Barry was there, and I said to him, Who the F was that there? He went, That was my brother. Yeah. And I got one to get really into it. That story would make it go much better than that. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, a pleasure. You're dude. always a welcome pleasure. at my house. Thanks at my for coming part. on, Paul. Not a problem, that probably will be the last. Uh, it was too slow and no good enough to do. No. No, 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 no